everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review on a bar soap today. That this is actually one of my favorite, favorite, favorite bar soaps to use on my face and my neck, my my neck, my neckletage, decolletage. <laughs> Whoa. I can't even talk today. Today is mm, Wednesday and it has been a very busy week. So when I get busy and I'm extremely tired, of course, I don't know, but anyhow, can't talk. So I love to use this bar soap on my face, my neck, my decolletage, my decollete, you know what I mean, whatever you want to call it. This is just really the best unfragranced, unscented, unperfumed, unsmelly natural bar soap. You know what I mean? I've used this forever. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you. We're talking about, we're talking today about the Fiji. And this is the box that comes in, so. Okay, so this is the Fiji Cocoa. This is the uh, fragrance free. And it is a raw coconut oil soap. And let's see what else it says. And let's look at the ingredients and then oh I'm so distracted there's like a thousand things going on literally oh am I upside down yes okay so first off I like to buy these from vitacast.com swanceysvitamins.com pureformulas.com basically places like those because they're the cheapest and uh, yeah, it's where I like to buy them from because they're the most affordable. It is cruelty free. It is vegan. It's just a really good quality stuff. And let's see if I can find the ingredients. And uh, pardon me, my cat is just, I don't know, he's just getting so uh, peculiar today, you might say. Are we upside down still, literally? Okay, <laughs> so funny. The difficulties of looking through this the screen, the camera screen, you guys. I don't know why that's so, oh, I don't know. Okay, but anyhow, that's not even the ingredients, is it? Mm -hmm. I bought this one from pureformulas.com. They seem to like put stickers all over everything. I mean, that's okay, but anyhow, let me find the ingredients. They're on here somewhere. Was I showing you the ingredients? Okay, let's see. Oh, and my cat, you do not know what he's doing, you guys. Oh, okay. Anyhow, hopefully you can see. Can you see some of that? Probably not. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. No, those are not ingredients. Okay, that's just telling about the product. I mean, hum, ta dum, ta dum. We could be here like literally all day. Like, where are the ingredients? Okay. Uh, finally. Okay, it sounds like feeding time at the zoo back there. That's my cat, so. You know how that goes? And it goes, that, it goes this way for a lot of other YouTubers when the cameras start rolling. <laughs> the pets start acting up. A Especially, particularly us cat owners, you know what I mean? I mean, my dog, my beautiful beauty assistant, Mr. Doberman Pinscher, that's a different situation. He is really, really well behaved, but something about those cats, something about the cats, and the crazy sounds they start making, literally. But it makes perfect for like a Halloween video or something. Anyhow, gonna open up the soap. I wanna show you guys what this looks like. I've been using this exact soap for about, well, not this exact one, cause I rebuy it, but you know what I mean. This exact formulation. I've been using this for about, I say three to four years now, at least. Yeah, at least four years, absolutely love it. It is super gentle on the face. It's super gentle cleansing. It doesn't disturb the moisture barrier level. It doesn't dry your skin out. It doesn't strip your skin. It doesn't, um, it just doesn't do that. It doesn't zap all the moisture out of your skin. And then, you know, especially for a bar soap. So I absolutely love it. Now, keep in mind, let me take a drink, you guys. Sinus problems. Mm. Which I have plenty of. But anyhow, 
Um, okay, I was going to point out, obviously, this is a coconut oil-based type of soap. If, in the event, you get breakouts with coconut oil um, or, you know, blemishes or whatever, which some people do, I understand that that's okay, um, because it can do that. It doesn't do that for me. Coconut oil, for me and my skin, is very miraculous. It works very well for my skin. It is not at all comogenic for my skin. It doesn't clog my pores. It doesn't cause me acne. You know, and keep in mind, I've been using coconut oil like seven, eight years, like since I was a kid, literally. You know, I started using coconut oil. So I've been using it for a long time now. And uh, just keep that in mind, you know, if you react a certain way to like pure coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil, the coconut oil making contact with the skin, you might break out with this as well because it is a coconut based bar. But now if you don't, it is super glorious. But like I said, coconut oil, I slather and lather coconut oil every single day, if not every other day at the least all over my skin. I never have a breakout, a blemish, a clogged up pore issue or anything like that. But now at work, I, there are some uh, clients and there are some patients of mine and there are coworkers and there are friends that, you know, do, um, that can't use coconut oil. I can and I love it. So for those of us that can use it, I definitely recommend it. You're going to absolutely love it. Now, you can use this as a bath bar as well, a shower bar as well for your body. Me, I just, I love it so much for my face and my neck that I kind of just reserve and keep it, you know, as such. I keep it solely for that reason. I use this with a washcloth. I use this with my hands. I can use this with uh, a manual, you know, brush. I can, like, like my manual e.l.f. brush, I can use it with that or one of the other brands. Um, also, you can use this with the Clarisonic as well. It's just really gentle cleansing. Now, it's not going to do 100% on makeup removal or anything like that, but, you know, you don't really particularly expect bar soaps to do that, you know. So I always, always remove my makeup first. Always, you know, it's baby wipes, it's makeup remover wipes. Uh, if it's not that, it's things like coconut oil. If it's not that, it's olive oil. If it's not that, it's eye makeup remover. Uh, it's just makeup remover in general or some type of cold cream. I will remove all my makeup first before I even, you know, go into the sink. You know what I mean? Before I even like insert face in the sink you know what I mean before I get to that step the makeup is you know at least 70 to 80 percent removed and then I go in you know with things like this and then I clean up so this does help clean up residual you know the makeup that's left over what's left behind what you didn't get you know and I, I love it so also, I will say, like with winter time coming, however, based on wherever you live, however, you know, uh, soon winter will approach. For winter dry skin, I absolutely love this to use this during the winter. I use this all last winter as well. And uh, the, the bar will last forever. And I end up actually just like throwing away my residual bar just because it's you know it's so well used and I'm a sexy little germaphobe that way and I always just kind of toss it when I get down to not much soap left and I toss it and buy more repurchase more because I just really love this um and it's kind of about eight or nine dollars I think a bar if I remember right you know what I mean like why can I not remember this but keep in mind I spend you know, 30 something, $40,000 a year on hair care and skincare products, you know, and supplements and things like that alone. So I do spend a good chunk of change, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, anyhow, I love this stuff. Good ingredients, good stuff. If you're good with coconut oil, you're going to be good with this soap. Really do love it. And um, also just want to give kudos and point out the fact that um, you know, it's cruelty-free, it's paraben-free, it's uh, phthalate-free, it's free of yucky stuff like that, carcinogenins, uh, carcinogenic, nasty, cancerous-causing, you know, toxic chemicals. I mean, think about it, you guys. Do we need those chemicals in our soaps, you know, much less smeared on our faces, you know, no. Um, and huge amount of kudos to it being fragrance free it's truly unscented it's truly unfragranced and i've had crazy bad sinus problems issues going on lately a little bit more intensified than normal 
Um, it is what it is, but my sinuses think they it just thanks. It absolutely thanks products like this because when I get soaps that are too smelly, too floral, too fragrance, too too perfumed, uh, too cologne, too masculine smelling, too heavily fragranced, then my sinuses, my sinuses let me know like they really do. Okay, guys, so uh, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I thank you for your time. I thank you for watching. Big, huge thumbs up. Hit that bell button down below somewhere on the side or up there, down there, wherever it might might be, maybe, on uh, whatever device you're watching. Sometimes I say that, but I, I double think, um, well... If they're watching on a TV, they're not even going to get that option, you know, like, okay. If they're watching on an iPad, well, it's going to look different. If they're watching it on a cell phone, what kind of cell phone are they watching it on? So it's always different. But anyhow, you can find that bell button. You guys are smart, beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, and I adore you. I thank you so much. Bye.